Hey everybody, this is One Way Blues, and today I'm brainstorming for advancing safe and efficient hydroxy or Browns gas production, hoping that open source collaboration should help us get there quicker and safer. But first, a huge debt of gratitude goes out to everyone who promotes this awesome technology, and especially to early developing pioneers. Be safe. Um, and I'm really interested in your f everyone's feedback. Uh, um, I'm no professional on this, so let me know what you think. Here are some of my ideas, which were largely inspired by many excellent videos here at YouTube. Thanks for the information and inspiration. Inefficient ratios of electricity in versus gas out shortens expensive alternator and battery lifespans. At the same volts, 4 amps is 8 times better than 32 amps. So more efficient gas production reduces overall cost and waste. Number one, how about raising water temperature to around 180-200 degrees Fahrenheit via controlled exhaust manifold heat exchanger to improve electronic current expended versus hydroxy production. Number two, steam as electrolyte may also increase uh, gas production versus like current expended compared to say ambient water reactors. Some water steam in the combustion chamber should aid motive force and extend valve and piston lifespans. Number three, keep anode and cathode spacing tight and consistent. Uh, some designs imply perhaps different geometric alignment could provide helpful results considering like electrolyzer water injectors, um, Stan Meyer and Dingle, Dan Daniel Dingle. Number four, um, reduce electrolyte to electrode volume to area ratio for lowering current requirements. Uh, suggesting using l as little water electrolyte solution as possible stands to improve your current efficiencies. Number five, use little or no chemical electrolyte additives in favor of cleaner cell operation. Suggest trying pulse width modulation, multiple stepped or harmonically associated waveforms, and duty cycle or current limiting. Number six, consider perhaps unusual considerations like implement ultrasonic or sonic uh, waves to improve system performance. Uh, purposely generate improved or focused electromagnetic fields. Now this is a readily available resource that few pay much attention to. Bingo arc welder reactor uh, produce gas co produced gas composition. How much, if any, portion of the gas produced is steam versus hydroxy gas? Okay, that's it for now. Be please feel free to share your ideas, inspirations, and findings. May the world become a better place soon. Thanks again for your time. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The blues rock.